In this mini clip, we will be discussing trigonometric models as we answer this question here. We are asked to consider this following graph. We are then asked to find the trigonometric model for this motion in the form of y equals a times cos of bx plus c. To solve for this equation, we need to find the values for a, b, as well as d. Let's begin by looking at d. d is a horizontal line that will cut this graph in half. This means that we need to take our maximum y value and we need to add our minimum value. And finally we need to divide this by 2 in order to find this horizontal line that cuts this graph in half. So we have the maximum value plus the minimum value which is all divided by well, looking at our graph, you'll notice that the maximum y value occurs at 10. So we have 10 plus, and our minimum of value occurs here, which we'll notice is the value of 4. Ten plus four will give us fourteen. And fourteen divided by two is equal to seven. So our d variable is equal to seven. Now let's take a look at our a variable. Our a variable represents the distance from this horizontal line that cuts this graph in half. Now it represents the distance from the maximum value to this horizontal line, as well as the minimum value to this horizontal line. Well, in order to solve for a, we need to take the maximum value And this is the maximum y value. Now we need to subtract from the minimum y value. And again, we are going to divide by 2. Well, we already determined our maximum y value. We said that it was 10. And our minimum y value was 4. We have to subtract 4. 10 minus 4 will give us 6. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. This means that the distance from our value of 7, which is right here on our graph, to the maximum value is 3 units, as well the distance from this value to the minimum value is also 3 units. And we can see on our graph that this is true. The last thing we need to solve is B. Well, in order to solve for B, we need to determine the period of our function. Our period occurs when we have one complete cycle of our function. So starting here, I'm just going to highlight this. We move down and then we move up. And then we'll notice that this gives us the exact same shape as before. So we know that our period starts from here and goes to here. This is one complete cycle. Well, looking at our x value, we notice that this occurs at 5 pi. So our period is equal to 5 pi. 
I'm just going to write this here. Our period for a function is equal to 5 pi. Now remember, our general formula for a period is equal to 2 pi divided by our b variable. Now we don't know what our b variable is, but we do know that our period is equal to 5 pi. So we can replace the left-hand side of our equation with 5 pi. So we have 5 pi is equal to 2 pi divided by b. Writing the left-hand side as a fraction, we can put this over 1. We now need to isolate for our b variable. And we will do this by cross-multiplying. So we will bring this denominator and multiply it by this numerator. And we'll bring this denominator up and multiply it by this numerator. So we have 5 pi times b, multiplying these two together, is equal to 2 pi. Now we need to isolate for our b variable, and the operation here is multiplication. So to eliminate this 5 pi, we need to perform the opposite operation, which is division. So we need to divide this side by 5 pi, but whatever we do to one side of the equation, we need to do to the other side of the equation. 5 pi divided by 5 pi will give us 1. So we're actually left with b on our left-hand side of our equation. I'm just going to move this up here since I'm running out of room. So we have b on our left-hand side. Now we'll have our pi's dividing out to 1. So we can cancel these out. And we're left with 2 over 5. So we know our d is equal to 7, we have our a is equal to 3, and we have that our b is equal to 2 over 5. All we have to do now is to substitute all these values into this equation. I'm going to do it up here. Therefore, the equation of this graph is y equals to, now, we're going to replace this a with its value, 3. 3 times cos, and we have our b is 2 over 5. I'm going to put this in brackets. We have 2 over 5 times x. Then we have plus d, and our d is 7. Here's our overall equation.